Now I'm going to teach you how to be a belayer, and that's the person who holds the climber's rope as they go up, so if the climber falls, they don't fall back down to the ground. So the first thing you'll get is your carabiner and your belay device. You'll take the two pieces apart. Remember our locking carabiner? First thing you do is just clip it to our belay loop. That's this gray loop right here in front. This is its job. It's meant just for belaying or repelling. Okay, don't worry about that for now. So this is our belay device. The way to set up this belay device is you're gonna hold the black wire in your hand. Imagine it's flat on top. Now you're going to grab your belayer's rope. It's the, going to be the same rope, opposite end of the climber. Hold her on hip level. You're going to flip it away from you and form a little loop in your hand. Once you have this loop, you're going to push it through one side or the other and match it to that black wire. Now before you clip it to yourself, make sure if you stack the two ropes, the rope on top is going up to the top of the wall. The one on bottom is going to be going down to the ground. It's your brake rope. Just make sure it never looks like this. That extra twist right there from the brake rope on top is crossing. That's going to make it funky and just hard to belay. So keep it nice and clean. Very close to your harness. Just clip the rope and the ATC right in together. Finger tight, lock your carabiner. And you're good to go. Again, there's this idea of safety. So after you set up as a belayer, you want to go through your safety checks. Always, always check your double back. Never assume that it's done, even as a belayer. Then you're gonna check the carabiner clips to your belay loop. The carabiner's locked, and again, we check it by just physically trying to open it. The rope and the wire need to clip in together. The rope's on one side only, and the brake strand's pointing down. So after you set up and you've already done all your safety checks, the first, hand, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your strong hand, the hand you write with, you're going to grab the bottom rope, thumb up towards the blade device. This is your brake hand. This is your safety hand. This hand never, ever lets go of the rope. If someone's falling and you've got to catch them, all you simply do is pull it close to you. Now remember, the body weight's going to pull on this end. The friction caused by the blade device by you pulling the rope down is what stops the climber. So remember, as the climber's climbing up, they're going to create slack. Our job as the belayer is to pull that rope tight again so if the climber falls, they don't fall all the way back down to the ground. All right, so now I'll demonstrate how to effectively belay. So the moment the climber starts moving, I gotta pull the slack, lock, pinch below, and slide up. Pull, lock, slide. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling in the slack. The moment he steps up, pull it. I gotta close the belay device, pinch, and slide up. All right, so he's at the top. All right, I got you. So to lower someone, you're gonna put both hands in your bottom so you have more control. Just loosen your grip. You're just gonna simply slowly open your hand and the rope's gonna slide right through. And this is where you're gonna watch your climber to control his speed. And you wanna keep your hands in the full brake position because this is what creates the friction through the belay device. If I start to raise it up like that, the friction's gonna move to my hand, not the belay device. So keep it nice and close. Both hands on bottom and just loosen your grip so it comes all the way down. So when you're blaming, and if you ever need to arrest the fall of a climber, they just come off the wall expectantly or anything, all you have to do is, as you're blaming, just drop it to the brake position. This is going to effectively hold the climber where they're at when they swing away from the wall.